let's go on to flexibility as well now and look ahead to uh, the rest of this year, 2014. What kind of plans do you actually have for, for your region in the coming months? Good. Let me firstly start from something which is happening today. So let me start from the figures, the numbers where we are today. So this morning, our president, our chairman of the board of Euro Hermes Group, Wilfried Verstrade, just announced the first quarter results of the group. Let me comment on this. I just received, so I have to read this, mm -hmm. because I'm very remarkable. don't want to miss it. So Euromis first quarter results show a solid start in 2014, which is vital for our expansion program in this year. Revenues are at 637.5 million euro, increasing 4% versus the first quarter of last year. Operating income increased by 20% at 170 million euro and the net income is set at 82 million euro which is an increase by 29 percent so i would say we start very strong and which were the main contributor of this so still the president today declared that the growth markets like americas asia and middle east remains dynamic and drive most of the growth group's growth. So let me focus on the Middle East. I would say that this dynamic that we registered at the group level is granted, is confirmed in the Gulf countries as well. In fact, we grew up in the first quarter 16% versus the end of last year, our portfolio growth. So technically, if we would continue like this, we will show uh, more than 45% growth for this year. Uh, I would cannot commit on that. <laughs> I will commit on what we just registered so far. So I would say that this growth comes from UAE and also from Saudi Arabia. But I don't want to miss Qatar as well. So territory coverage is our first expansion plan in the GCC countries. Secondly, which is vital to me, is continue to leverage on the education and professionalism on the staff. Staff, for me, is the real most important thing to be successful. You ask me your first question, and I come back again to you. It's vital to us to have the staff trained, uh, developed, and engaged. So I will continue to invest in technical skills, and uh, because these technical skills represent the information we can provide to our customers. And this is a key pillar in my strategic development in the region. Uh, we are at the moment 74 operating there. There are with the expansion plan. I think there will be 100 very, very soon. And of course, this professionalism is very high. Credit analysts, risk underwriters, commercial underwriters, capable to understand the diverse growth which is coming in the GCC countries. Not only for the local companies, but also for the companies which are requesting limits and investments and are trading everyone in the world in the GCC countries. That's why our professionalism has to be the state of the art. Obviously very exciting figures there that you've just told us about. That's wonderful to hear. And looking ahead to, to uh, future expansion plans and other regions outside of your own, what's the thoughts there? Africa is the number one, of course. So we started to set up some information agency in uh, Johannesburg in uh, South Africa. But of course we look at very uh, interesting at all the other uh, African countries. What we are currently doing also is to advise the companies and the customers that we currently have to increase their uh, trade with these African countries. I mentioned petrochemical sectors, for instance, automotive, uh, steel, food, and also IT electronics. This might be the important sectors of export to African countries. Vice versa, commodities and natural resources. Well, certainly some very exciting information there, Massimo, and thank you for telling us about that.